Houston Resident Association is hosting a march and rally against violence and guns that have terrorized their neighborhood. They're tired of it and they're letting their voices be heard. President of the association, Wallace Hassan, is here now to tell us more about it. And uh, as you said, uh, when it comes to guns and crime in the area, uh, you just about had it enough. It's, it's, really, it's really getting really out of hand. There's nothing you, can, you, can, you don't even know what to do anymore. And it comes to the point now, you start to think about the killing each other. You know, that's the sad part. You know, and I don't understand that. You know, I mean, now it used to be you wait till it gets dark, you mug people, you rob people. Now they're doing it in the daytime. They don't really care. You know, it's sad, but it's, it's a true, it's a fact. Mm -hmm. You know, so what we're going to do, hopefully, even though we're going to have a, a blow horn be able to talk about this as we march, we need people to understand this affects everybody, not just the people that live in Patterson houses. Mm -hmm. And they got to understand, if they don't start thinking about the brothers and their sisters, this is going to continue. We got to do something now. We can't wait. I want to let you know the rally is taking place on Saturday, December 3rd. That's this Saturday, so we're encouraging people to come on out and be yes, a part of it. please. Talk about what is actually going on in the community. I mean, you know, I, I know there's gun violence, mm -hmm. uh, and when you talk about crime, you're talking about crime, and, and, and it seems like everybody's a victim when you have the young, the, the seniors, and in between. That's right. That's all, all because, you know, they don't understand. I mean, it's like, you know, you say somebody got shot, you know, and it's like they shrug their shoulder, you know, like, so what? No big deal. They wait till tomorrow's paper to read another one. And it's a sad, sad situation. But what's happening is that the, the, the kids just don't understand the importance of life. I mean, mm -hmm. they don't care anymore. They don't care if they go to jail. When they come out, they come out and they're talking that nonsense about, you know, I just did a five bid. This is really the true story. I'm not making this up. This is actually how the kids talk when they come out of jail. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a shame. It, I mean, I don't know what to do except what I'm trying to do now on Saturday and my organization. I hope that we can reopen some eyes so they can come out and join us in this fight because it's truly, truly a terrible, terrible situation. You've been on our show down through the years. Yes, I, mean, I have. You've seen it from, you know, almost 15 years ago. That's right. Uh, but when you look at your neighborhood 15 years later, as you're sitting here today versus when we first met each other, would you say it's a deterioration? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And it's the people, you know, I mean, it's the people. They, they don't care, you know. I mean, it's like open their door to go to work, open their door to go to school and come back. And I would say school more than anything else because the kids, you know, somehow they get that bad feeling from their parents. I mean, that's, that's sad, sad, sad to say, but it's true because if the parents don't care, what do you think is going to happen to the kids? You know, no matter how much they talk about history of family, when you start doing things, you look at your mother and your father, and that's a role model. Whether it's good or bad, it's a role model. There's no getting away from that because that's what kids automatically do, follow what their parents are doing. And unfortunately, some parents are almost as bad as the kids. They go out and they do the same things that the kids are doing now. And now, then they get turned around and say, why are you doing it? What do you mean, why am I doing it? I'm following your, your model. You're the one that set up the mode for me. So that's why I'm doing it. So this Saturday, when you get together, what's going to be, what's gonna be the, the plan of action? I know you have this rally and people mm -hmm. will be coming and, and speaking and things of that nature. But what else is going to take place? Hopefully, uh, if God, when the weather gets better, because we're going to go around to the different trade associations, different um, tenant associations and talk to them about this problem. And eventually, we hope back to down in May sometime, if God spares our life, we'll be able to go down to the commissioner's office. Because what they need to do, listen, they're always talking about they don't have enough police. They're cutting the police and all that nonsense, which is ridiculous. Wherever the problem is, that's where you send the police. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make any sense to me. Don't tell me you know, to my face that, you know, you don't have the manpower. Yes, you do. You have the manpower. But you got them out in Park Slope or where they, wherever the rich people live. That's where you got them at. You should have them right, right where I'm talking about in the Patterson. Talk to us about this. I grew up in the projects uh, and grew up in St. Nick projects. Okay. And I'm probably dating myself. But uh, back then, tenant associations were very, very popular. And yes, people they were. were very uh, much a part of it. And it's, it was almost like, you know, you felt like they were the governing board of directors. Mm -hmm. Has the tenant association lost its life amongst, uh, you know, uh, amongst projects and in, in, in inner city neighborhoods? I would say yes. Because unfortunately, we don't get that many people to come out to our meetings, which we have on a monthly, uh, a monthly basis, uh, every last Tuesday of every month. But not as many people come out to the meetings as they should. Mm -hmm. And this is what we're trying to get them to understand, that we are trying to help not only ourselves, but them as well. They live there as well as we do, you know. So they got to understand that, you know, if they don't come out to the meetings as a whole, something's going to happen that's going to be very terrible, and we're going to be 
continue to deteriorate like that. It's, it's terrible. It's very sad. I want to encourage people, as you said, Saturday, December the 3rd is going to be taking place at Patterson Houses. There's going to be a rally, and the rally is dealing with guns, crime, violence in the neighborhood. And uh, when you talk about this, uh, a lot of young people are really uh, the subject of both being the perpetrator yeah. and also the victim. That's right. And that's why I say it's so sad, because I've actually heard this conversation. I'm not making this up. They come out of jail and they talk like I was saying early on. I just did a five bit. Who does that to be proud of? You mm -hmm. know what I mean? But that's what they say. They talk to each other that way. I just did a five bit, man, you know, blah, blah, blah. And they enjoy it. And what, what that, to me, that means that you're going back to jail because you already got your mind made up how you're going to live. Well, let's give people some information as to where they can find out well, if they want to come to the rally, sure, be a part of it. Sure, sure. 138th Street and Alexander Avenue, right in front of the 40th Precinct, is where it's going to start. And then it's going to end 148th Street and 3rd Avenue. And uh, hopefully everybody will come out and join in this because this, again, I'll repeat, like I said early on, this affects everybody. And that's not just the residents of Patterson, not just that community, but all of the communities around it. And there you see the information at the bottom of the screen. Make sure you pay, take part if you can. The March Against Guns and Crime, Saturday, December 3rd uh, at 2 p.m. Once again, the march begins at 138th Street and Alexander Avenue. It ends at 148th Street and 3rd Avenue. And that number for contact information is 718-292-0619. And Wallace Hassan. Or 742-4641. Or, uh -huh. Wallace.